Hi, I'm Dave McGonigal with Manpower Group Solutions Staffin, and I'm here today to spend a few minutes talking to you about the Affordable Care Act and how it may impact your managed staffing solutions. The Affordable Care Act is a very complex piece of legislation that will impact different companies in significantly different ways. One of the ways that has not been talked about uh, very often to date is the impact that it could have on your contingent workforce program. At the end of the day, individuals are mandated to purchase health insurance starting January 1, 2014. This applies also to contingent workers, not just your permanent employees. So the law's reach will extend to all individuals that are employed. Employers are primarily worried about two factors, cost and compliance and talent acquisition and retention. The cost component is not as straightforward as one might think. There are various penalties under the law. Many companies will be hit with increased health insurance premiums. There are new fees and new taxes associated with the law. There's also some significant record keeping and uh, data tracking and reporting requirements under the law. And larger firms are going to be better positioned to deliver on these requirements than smaller firms. And finally, there's some pretty significant communication requirements as well. Once you get past the first level of cost and compliance issues, there's also the matter of talent attraction and retention. Companies will be competing to provide different benefits packages and attract talent through those benefits packages. Their workforce strategies may change somewhat as positions that used to be hired via permanent employees will now be sourced via temporary workers and some temporary staffing firms may exit certain segments of the staffing industry altogether given the dynamics and, and the cost implications of the law. Finally, you've got educational issues around uh, informing employees of their total compensation package and making them more aware of the role that benefits plays in their total comp. In addition, you've got retention and continuity issues, cost of turnover, and then what I like to call transactional friction. If you're going to have more turnover, if you're going to have more individuals delivering on the same job, there's going to be a host of administrative training and other associated requirements that are going to cost time and money. So let's take a moment to look at the impact of the Affordable Care Act on managed staffing provider programs. We see four main areas of impact, workforce strategy, cost management, supplier mix, and compliance. From a workforce strategy standpoint, we believe that customers will change the way they hire for certain positions. Some positions that have been hired internally will start to be hired via contingent workers. Some positions that have been hired via contingent workers may be hired via outsourced project solutions. And there may be some projects that are now staffed with internal resources instead of external contract labor. From a cost standpoint, cost is probably the most visible factor today. The act is going to place additional cost burdens on providers of talent. And there are multiple valid strategies that those providers can pursue when complying with the law. So it will be very difficult for clients to achieve an apples to apples cost comparison amongst their suppliers and the impact that the law has on those suppliers. The net result will be higher costs, and it will be up to the client to determine what supply mix meets their needs at the right cost point. Now, from a supplier mix standpoint, we see some significant changes here as well. We believe that there are some small suppliers who are going to choose to exit certain segments of the staffing market due to the additional burden associated with supporting uh, some of the high cost areas that may not have been fully covered with benefits in the past. Things like light industrial staffing are a great example. We also believe that there will be some smaller firms that will sell their business and look to uh, align themselves in areas where the, uh, the Affordable Care Act is basically a low impact on the nature of the staffing position and the transaction that the clients have. And then finally, from a compliance standpoint, I mentioned earlier that there are significant compliance requirements with this law. Companies will be forced to report on the benefits coverage of every single worker that they have, and they'll have to report this to multiple government agencies on a go-forward basis. Needless to say, larger firms with greater investment in technology and greater overhead staff that can help support these activities are better positioned to deal with this law. This has been a very short overview of some of the key factors impacting healthcare reform. We here at Manpower Group Solutions Tapfin are interested in providing additional information to you should you have a need. Thanks for your time.